So many people are overreacting over the gorilla incident, so we are gonna I'm going to read you about Jane Goodall responds to Harambe's death. It looked as though the gorilla was putting an arm around the child. Which is really sad to see because God, it's so hard. It's it's so hard to see an animal get killed. If I was there, I don't know if I could take it. I would I don't know. I don't know. This so if I was in the situation with my child, I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do. Okay. The Jane Goodall Institute is sharing an email the famed primatologist sent to the Thane Maynard, director of the Cincinnati Zoo, following the death of Harambe. On Saturday, the 17-year-old western lowland silverback gorilla was shot and it killed after a four-year-old boy fell 15 feet from the railing of the animal's exhibit and into the enclosure. Video shows Harambe grabbing the boy and taking him around the enclosure while unlock onlookers, including the boy's mother, watched in honor and screamed at the primate and young book child, first of all. My grandma's told me that you shouldn't scream, because if you scream, you're going to upset the animal. The idea of wading and shooting it with a hypodermic was not a good idea. Maynard said at a press conference Monday as to why the zoo chose to shoot the animal with bullets instead of tranquilizer darts. That would have definitely created alarm in the male gorilla. When you dart an animal, an aesthetic doesn't work in one second. It works over a period of a few minutes to 10 minutes. The risk was due to the power of that animal. In her email, as the director started with Dear Thane on Har Harambe's death, goodbye. Goodall says, I feel so sorry for you, having to try to defend something which you may well disapprove of. And while Maynard has defended the actions taken by the zoo, saying they were necessary because the powerful animal was acting erratically and was disorientated. Goodall's email seems to suggest there could have been an alternative. It looked as though the gorilla was putting an arm around the child, like the female who rescued the animal returned the boy from the Chicago exhibit. She writes, The gorilla was most likely referring to Binti Jaw, a female gorilla at the Brookfield Zoo, who, in 1996, picked up and grittled a child who fell into the her enclosure, ultimately delivered the boy to keepers waiting at the exhibit service door. Director of the Yorkies... Yerkes National Primates Research Living Link Center at Emory University and fellow primate, primate logist Franz Del Wall also stated that he noticed the lack of violence in the animal's action right on Facebook. Harambe was mostly protective. He showed a combination of protection and confusion. He stood over the child, held him up, moved slash dragged him through the water at least once very roughly, stood over him again. Much of his reaction may be may have been triggered by public noise and yelling. Goodall does not explore the issue any further instead of changing subjects and asking how the other gorillas living in Harambe have reacted to the animal's death. As extremely social creatures, gorillas have known to mourn the loss of other gorillas close to them. Are they allowed to see and express grief, which seems to be so important? She asked before ending her email with the signature, feeling for you. When asked for the more commentary, the Jane Goodall Institute replied that both of the Institute and Jane Goodall are currently refraining from making additional statements outside the email. I'm actually going to read this story about the 1986, because I'm interested. All right. Thanks, guys, so much. We'll talk more.